Hi, this is Mike Foss from Expedition 28 and 29. We're at the Baikonur Cosmodrome at the Cosmonaut Hotel Quarantine Facility in Kazakhstan. Space history is living history, and nowhere is that better exemplified than here at Ale Kosmonavtov, where we have trees planted for every participant in the Russian space program since the beginning, starting with Yuri Gagarin, right here behind me. This is really a great tradition that's part of the, being a participant in the Russian space program. It's something I'd like to show and share a little more with you. Let's take a walk around. Come with me. A walk through Ale Kuzminovtov is quite literally a walk through history. The, the, these trees you know, represent many of the figures from the history books, the early days of the Russian space program. Just a little ways behind me are actually the first Americans to have trees here. They were the Apollo crew from the Apollo-Soyuz joint mission. It was in 1975, the first time we had a cooperative program uh, between the Russians and the United States. That was led by Tom Stafford, Commander Tom Stafford, Vance Brand, and Deke Slayton. Since then, there have been many Americans fly with the Russians and have trees located here on Ale Kosmonovtov. What a great place. I want to show you something here, too. Just on the edge of, the, uh, of this grove of trees is a great overlook. So come along with me over here and let's take a look at that. I just love this view. What you see behind me here is the Sirdar Yar River. It's also called Severnaya Reka, or Northern River. It earned that name by being the actual northern boundary of Alexander the Great's conquest 2,300 years ago. Another important thing, a bit of history for Baikonur, is its position as a way station on the Silk Road that went all the way from China to the Mediterranean Basin. Baikonur is a way station yet today. It's a way station to the stars. That's why we're here. See you at the launch pad.